is your girl Brinks. Our fun week slash month is over. Um, it's time to get down and get back to business. I am, um, I need to start back wearing this. Like I took a break from wearing this y'all because my, um, my wrist was breaking out, but turns out you're not supposed to wear it consistently like I have been doing. So I am just going to start putting it on when I get up in the morning or afternoon. <laughs> Put it on as soon as I get up and then um, take it off before I go to bed so I don't have that consistent wearing of this um all right y'all so this is technically our Memorial Day dinner we are not doing anything for Memorial Day tomorrow hopefully we can see like some fireworks or something out of the backyard because if we can then we'll just um sit in the backyard and watch the fireworks but for the most part y'all we're not really doing anything too fancy snancy it's literally me just cooking up some stuff today and pretty much relaxing all tomorrow that's kind of why i want to get the cooking and cleaning done today so I don't have to worry about anything tomorrow. Get the day out the way. Yeah. So um today guys we are doing ribs ribs, corn on the cob, and um, cauliflower potato salad. So instead of potatoes, the cauliflower is used in place of the potatoes. The taste is different. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say like, oh, it tastes dead on potato salad, because it doesn't. It doesn't, and anybody that tells you that it does, it's lying to y'all. Um, but the taste is different. Um, I like it personally, I like it personally. Um, it's the same exact ingredients that you would use in potato salad. It's just, um, cauliflower instead of the potatoes. But this will be the third time that I made it. And the first time that I made it, I did it with corn on the cob, um, and ribs. Like, it's literally like a summer type dinner thing. Um, but yeah, y'all, that is what we're having today I bought corn on the top so. I'm just going to cook this just want to cook in some garlic some butter a um, little bit of salt and pepper some seasoning salt just kind of get all of those flavorings into this corn. I think my big pot will be enough or I could just use like the huge pot. We'll just see y'all. So we're just gonna see if it fits in this pot. And just jump right on into this video. So y'all yeah, only one fits in here. You know what, since it's just literally me and TK, I'll save this one for another time. All right, y'all. Uh, so we got our garlic. So halfway, y'all. Halfway. All right, now y'all, the rib I'm gonna have to cut in half because TK is going to eat some rib. We're gonna see you y'all. He said he wants some, so I'm gonna make more of a plain half and then I'm gonna make an extra half because I like barbecue sauce on my rib, you guys. 
and it's in between the Sweet Baby Rays and of course another one of my favorites y'all grandma got me hip to that <laughs> grandma got me hip to that so open pit will always be a favorite original open fit will always be a favorite i like i like the honey one too and i'm kind of getting into the hickory but original is definitely my favorite open pit tasting whatsoever um, so I am going to go ahead, clean this rib, you guys, and cut it straight down the middle, and I will be right back to season it with you guys. All right, guys, so these are the seasonings that we're going to be using. I am going to use the savory um, seasoning and honey garlic on TK's side, and then um, the Creole and Cajun will be on my side. Um, he will have slap your mama and of course season and salt on his as well. But I just want to let you guys know that there will be a separation of these seasonings. All of them will not be on the same, the same part of the rib, so to say. Um, so next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start to season this section you guys know I put a little bit of seasoning at the bottom because you have to get both sides I hate it when people only season like one side like there's two separate sides of meat like you can't just season one side and expect the other side to be fine you have to season both sides y'all like I don't understand why people don't know this and even when you put it down in the pan you still have to pick it up and make sure the seasoning is all over the back, you know? <laughs> you can't do it. You Yeah, Bruh. Okay, it looks pretty <laughs> good. Alright, I can go ahead and put the savory steakhouse up and the honey because I'm not using that one at all on my Throw this in here, onion powder at the bottom, garlic powder. The bottom is, yes. oh y'all know what I'm missing, I'm missing some freaking meat tenderizer. That's what I do not have, is meat tenderizer. But I did let it clean and vinegar so i mean it should be fine but i still like meat tenderizer on like beef and steak and what all oh, that stuff y'all the other one is looking like all right y'all so both are nicely sweet. seasoned you guys Let's and then we're just going to go ahead and throw these in the oven, oven. and, up, let it and i'll be back rib cook a little bit too long that side is perfect and I tasted it. It's not spicy or anything. Um, this is what I got for his little scrambles of extra of cut off pieces from this. I mean, it doesn't taste like it's burnt, but it looks like it's burnt. <laughs> and I know that once it actually officially cools off, it's going to be like really hard and tough to kind of eat. So. I am just pretty much going to cut that one to desired pieces and then I'm just going to dip it in whatever barbecue sauce I'm going to use just in case he wants more because um, yeah you guys I shouldn't have fell asleep <laughs> like but I was tired 
And I also realized that I don't have any freaking relish, but what is relish anyway, but just pretty much pickles. So I forgot all about this, you guys. I have a freaking chopper. I have pickles. Seriously, mommy. I'm about to make some relish real quick to put in my cauliflower potato salad. And then it's going to be time to eat. It is literally going to be time to eat. So, I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, guys. Look at our relish. Good investment, you guys. I think I only paid like 7 or $8 for that. But at Walmart. But good investment because I completely forgot that I had that and it just came in handy. On another note, you guys, I forgot that I did not put any eggs on. So I'm going to put eggs on. Eggs are on now. And I have to wash this out. We're going to go ahead and make our salad. And we'll just add the eggs in when they're done. I think my baby is up. You can hear I'm in there moving around. Um, but yeah, you guys, we're just going to go ahead and put this together. So I don't know if this bowl is big enough for all of this cauliflower. But this is the biggest bowl that I have. So it's BB. Oh, it's perfect. Good thing I only did three. Three um. Three bags of the cauliflower. Take this. My mom likes to put celery in hers. Like I would put celery in mine, cause I'll, but I only have celery flakes. And I really don't like the way the celery flakes taste, you guys. It gets like really hard and has that really dry consistency to it, even when it is introduced to like the mayonnaise and relish. So for mixing purposes, I definitely needed a, a bigger bowl. <laughs> Definitely needed a bigger bowl for mixing purposes. And we just gonna wait for these eggs to get done, you guys, and I'll be back. I will be back. Alright guys, this is the final.